People will call me uh, Lizzie Longlegs. I'm six foot three. Today I'm going on a blind date. For work I have OnlyFans. I also make customised videos, things such as height comparison videos, humiliation videos. Dating is difficult in Cornwall because a lot of people already know like who I am and it's quite unusual for somebody to be of my height. I'm hoping that my date will react positively but I'm also worried that he might actually react negatively. <laughs> Hello. All right. How tall are you? I'm Can six foot three. You're six foot three? Yeah. <laughs> You're a giant. Maybe I should wear these, but then, particularly in Cornwall, the doorways are pretty low. So could you imagine if I rocked up in these, I'd be ducking even further just to go under the doorway. My name's Lizzie, and um, people also call me uh, Lizzie Longlegs. I'm 28 and from Cornwall. I'm six foot three. Today, I'm going on a blind date. <laughs> For work, I have OnlyFans. I also make customised videos on request, things such as height comparison videos, humiliation videos. Dating is difficult in Cornwall because a lot of people already know like who I am and it's quite unusual for somebody to be of my height. I'm hoping that my date will react positively, but I'm also worried that he might actually react negatively. My name's Andy, I'm from Somerset, I'm 38. I'm a healthcare support worker now for uh, the NHS. I haven't actually got a type, so that's what I'm looking for, the connection. I'm feeling really nervous, to be honest. I think if he was just rude or made comments, whether it be, you know, what I do for a job or my height, I think that would put me up massively. Hello. All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. That's good. Yeah, right. What's your name? Uh, Lizzie. Lizzie, nice to meet you. I'm Andy. Hi. Yeah, wow. <laughs> nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah, I'm a bit, I was a bit nervous. Same here, yeah, I'm, I'm massively nervous too. Yeah, 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 <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I was not uh, not sure what to expect or anything. You are, you're absolutely stunning, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, yeah. Um, what do you do for a living? Um, <laughs> I do. I noticed that, yeah. <laughs> do you know what? That, that actually doesn't bother me, you know? No. Um, How tall are yeah, you? Yeah, really, really five foot seven. How tall are you? Does it bother me? Because I'm, <laughs> not, not, I'm not that tall I'm in Australia. You're six foot three. Yeah. <laughs> You're a giant. <laughs> it doesn't bother me as long as it doesn't bother me being that short. I, it doesn't bother me about me being tall. I wear heels, so I'm six foot five right now. So there's a massive difference. Yeah, I, mean, I don't wear heels. I'm sure if I took my shoes off, I'll be a little bit sm smaller as well. So. So what? You're five foot seven with your shoes on? I don't know. Maybe, possibly. Yeah. Christ, <laughs> six foot three. <laughs> me. Like I said, it doesn't bother me. That's absolutely fine. What um, do you do? I'm a chef. Okay. So I'm not a chef anymore. I keep saying I'm a chef, but I'm not anymore. I've just mm -hmm. come out of that. I'm. Uh, uh, work for the NHS, healthcare okay. support worker. Yeah, yeah. It's a good job, I yeah, like it. I used to be a support worker. Oh, so. did you, yeah? yeah. Oh, right, yeah. cool, that's cool. I do, it's not just like doing the like OnlyFans site, like I do like um, niche stuff, so like about my, around my height, so like height videos. Oh, um, right, cool. Like humiliation videos, the short guys, you know, like, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to go into this kind of work during the time just before the pandemic, due to just financially struggling. What I love about my job is empowering women to embrace their differences. I only like people that are obviously like into, that are into being humiliated by giant women. That's yeah. how Is there a lot of that? You must make a mint. <laughs> yeah, if I, I could get away with it, I could, you know, but... <laughs> I was um, top, like, I think like last year I was like top 1% creator, like I made like top 1% creator. Wow, fantastic. The thing is, even if you weren't on OnlyFans, you'd get a lot of attention. You're striking to look at, you are a beautiful girl. Thank you. So <laughs> at the end of the day, you'd probably get a lot of attention whether you're on only fans or not? I don't really know anything about you. Me? Well, um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm 38. I've been travelling for like six years. Okay. Uh, I spent two years in Australia, two years in New Zealand, two years in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? You know you've done only fans. I actually did in Australia. Did you? Yeah, it was just solo act. Mm -hmm. That was it. It's somewhere out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I didn't ask where it was, because I just got the money on, just legged it. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, by the way. It's well, holding my lipstick. <laughs> It's been like circulating. <laughs> no idea what to expect, but definitely a positive thing so far. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really nice so far. There you go for it. Yeah. My first impressions of him is he's very chassis, but I think that just came down to him being very nervous. I think with regards to the height difference between us, you know, I have been with people in the past that have been shorter than me. Obviously, that was a bit of a surprise. All right. You're right. Oh, my God. It's got a bit cold. Yeah, I have yeah, actually. Definitely got a bit nippy. <laughs> I've, um, I've travelled a bit and that. Love animals. 
Mm -hmm. I'd love to be a vet, but I don't think I could handle it. Mm -hmm. Like putting an animal down. Well, my son accidentally stood on one of my friend's kittens yesterday. Oh, poor little thing. Yeah, but he's all right though. So. How many kids have you got? I've got three. You got three, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I've got, I've got none. Okay. No kids. Never been married? No. no, no, no. Never I haven't been, been married. I've um, had a few failed relationships. I think my relationships ended uh, due to them taking advantage of my large platform and the things that they were able to gain from it for themselves. Initially accepting of what I do and almost seeming very keen to get involved in everything that I do until it almost emasculated them. What about yourself? Um, really? I've been ghosted quite a lot recently, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't understand why. I've been on like Tinder and stuff like that and I make dates and they're like, yeah, brilliant. And then the next day they block me. I've had that, like, it lasts recently in the last, like, what? Four, five, I've been single for like a year. I guess it can do a lot, you know, and not for your confidence. Some people have, have, have described me as a Labrador puppy. Mm -hmm. You know, very loving and very just in your face and love. I don't let myself like open time. up very like to anybody really. Oh, that's my issue. I open up too much, maybe. That smells so nice. <laughs> <laughs> my ideal place to live is actually a shack on a beach. Really? Yeah, literally just well, a little. Yeah, well, if I'm with someone at the time, join me if you want. More than welcome to. <laughs> like, literally, a shack on the beach, and I'll have a little boat, and I'll have a dog, a monkey, and a parrot. So you just want to be completely isolated from society. My, my, my goal is to be completely out there. That food was nice, wasn't it? It was really nice. Yeah, Unfortunately, we did, we did talk a lot, and we let it go cold. But what we ate of it, it was nice. I yeah. enjoyed it. Um, should we go? Yeah. Thanks for getting out of here. Let's go. Do I make you feel short, do I? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I feel huge. <laughs> I think it went well and he seems like a really nice person. What did you think about his reaction to it, Joel? I think that he reacted really positively. I think that, you know, I was dreading that he'd you know, act differently or have less respect for me because of what I do for a job, but he was, he was very kind about it. My first impressions of Lizzie, um, definitely striking to look at, like, very beautiful. Um, I didn't actually notice how tall she was, obviously, until she said, but I was like, oh my god. What surprised me is the, uh, obviously, the height and the, uh, the, the humiliation with men. Thing. That's what surprised me, but love it, I can tell how it is. Well, I think it went well. What do you think? Yeah, I do. You yeah. seem like a really lovely person. Would you like to see each other again? I definitely would like to see you again, yeah. Yeah, we definitely yeah. said we'd stay in contact, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we definitely said we would, yeah. yeah. I'd say it's definitely taught me that not to just assume that everybody would be the same towards me just because I've been scorned by a couple of people in the past. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.